welcome back to the second part of the cyberpunk tutorial today we will create some fog and some light effects let's go to make some cool uh, lightning and reflection and stuff like that we have to add here uh, hdri and yeah let's let's uh, use here the easy hdri as always so and i used here the shanghai bond so uh, let's create the world nodes and i want to use here this one let's uh, bring the sky strength down to 0.1 I want to rotate this one to minus 273. Now we can go ahead and bring in here some fog. Now let's hide our material cubes here for this one. I think we don't need them. So let's select them. Cube materials. And we can hide them. Now let's bring a new cube in which is the fog okay maybe let's go back into the layout mode so we can see a little bit more let's um, change here this to 200 by 200 by 50 and yeah, you know, we can leave this like it is <laughs> now we have to go back to the shading and make a new material which will be the fog let's delete the principle and search for volumetric scatter yeah 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 and let's change this to a grayish color and i want to make the density only to 0.2 and the endosotropy 2.65 let's shade this scene a little bit so first the first light um, is for me here um, the scene light or the light um, and the environment light and this one is um, sunlight and I want to go here with a color of this one this hex code here and that's really bright here we only want to go with a strength of one and let's leave the diffuse specular and volume and we want to go with the angle of zero Let's enable here the contact shadows and let's change this one here to yeah, minus 64.6, minus 28.8 and I want to go with minus 455. And now we are having here a little bit um, light which uh, yeah, <laughs> shines here uh, the whole scene which is which is cool and um, yeah let's go ahead with the next light which is here an area light so maybe let's go back into the layout mode so that you guys can see a little bit more maybe let's put this here into a new collection which is a lights let's create a new one an area light so let's change the color here to something like this first let's position this one here to minus 18 by minus 16 by 4.8 and uh, let's jump into the to the slide here that's here in the first I think la behind our car and let's rotate this to minus 180 in the y so that's pointing up and yeah, we can't see the slide now because we have to increase the power to 10,000. So let's go ahead and do this. And that's looking better. To make this a little bit cooler, we have to uh, change the size to 5. Uh, enable uh, contact shadows as always. And I think that's it here for this la yeah let's uh, duplicate this area light here for the next one and i want to go a little bit more with a with a mint color something like this and uh, let's change the hex code to something like this and uh, let's see let's put this a little bit back here to minus 30 minus 36 by minus 14.5 and 4.6 can see here it's in the second LA to create a little bit more depth um, of uh, here for the city 
and yeah to to increase a little bit more the contrast from the background and the front um we can <laughs> duplicate this one here again and i want to make here a little volumetric light uh, in front of our poster because i think that um yeah this poster has to um yeah light up here the whole part in this this area here yeah let's um change here some settings first let's go with a position i want to go with minus 27 minus 5 and 30 maybe let's make this a little bit visible here and let's change this here to 90 by minus 180 that's okay but it's really bright <laughs> so let's change this here to 1000 yeah we want to change this from square to rectangle and bring this to to 10 by 13 and we can leave everything like it is that's okay so um that's a little bit more contrasting here now the background to the front which is uh, good here for our scene okay to make the car a little bit more pop uh, we have to um yeah add some lights for our car as well so let's bring in here a new area light okay let's put here um, the area light to our car above our car so let's go with minus 2 by 1.3 by 2 maybe let's make this visible here and yeah well, let's put this here to the lights collection and maybe let's add here new collection which will be car okay now we can rotate here this one to 40 and i want to change the color here to something bluish and let's increase the power to 100 yeah we want to light only our car not the whole scene or the volumetric so let's turn the, down the volumetric here to zero and i want to change uh, the shape from rectangle uh, from square to rectangle and let's go ahead here with 0.97 by 2.54 and yeah let's add here a custom distance because uh, we only want to uh, light here our car so let's add this one let's go with 1.8 enable here the contact shadows as well and that's the front of our car let's go ahead here and duplicate this one and i want to push this a little bit back to minus 4.2 by minus 1.3 by 2 as well let's rename this to uh, back and uh, let's leave this everything like it is we can see that here is a little bit of rim light here going on yeah for the last light um, i want to add here um yeah, some fake light from from the building from the left here so let's go ahead here uh, with a point light maybe let's put this here into the uh, car as well and i want to go with a, yeah, our minty greenish light so uh, let's change this here to this hex color and let's increase here the power to 500 <laughs> let's put this into the right place by adding this to minus 7 by minus 3.2 by 2 yeah i want to have a little bit of volumetric light going on so let's turn this down to 0.3 and i want to change the radius to uh, 3.9 Okay, and now we can go ahead and add here the contact shadows as well. And now we are having here a little bit fakey, fakey light from uh, these whole uh, bluish greenish uh, lights here. And that's, uh, I think, totally okay. To make stuff a little bit invisible, we can add here a little bit depth of field. Um, let's go into the camera settings here and let's enable here the depth of field and I want to go here with a 2.3 and the f-stop of 1.5 so we are having a little bit or losing a little bit the detail here and the last thing which I would like to add is here the render to 128 let's go to the color management and change uh, the filmic to high contrast 
yeah that is our cyberpunk city here for now that was this tutorial and if you want to see more stuff like that check out and follow my channel enable the bell and if you want to support me check out my gumroad and leather market page see you there and bye